Hi, so this is Code Cowboy here. I want to give a layman's term explanation of what table partitioning is. So here you'll see I have a table with 40 million rows. Uh, if, if I execute this, you'll notice it comes back with 40 million rows. And what I want to do is I want to separate this table into smaller chunks, basically by year. So what I'm actually doing is um, I'm going to have to create a partition function where I tell it what it's what to split it by. In my case, I'm splitting it by year. You'll see your 2005, 2006, 7, 2011, all the way to 2020. And I have to create a partition scheme where I'm mapping uh, the range of this date with a file group. So that is what a partition scheme is. But what is it exactly that I'm doing behind the scenes? So you'll notice if I was to do this manually, uh, what I would actually be doing is I would actually be creating 17 tables by year, uh, one uh, for 2005, one for 2006, one for 2007, all the way down to 2020. So, so this is actually what it's doing behind the scenes is creating these almost virtual tables for you. And what this really is, what table partitioning really is, is a storage scheme. And it hides all the uh, it, it hides all the complexity or differences behind for you, so so that for your application, that part of it doesn't change. So if I was to implement this manually, I would have to sort of query each of these individually. If I was to query for just a sales order, whereas uh, now the data is segregated and delineate it by year, but I don't have to make any changes to my application. Um, so for the most part, uh, that is what table partitioning is, but let me show you behind the scenes what it's actually doing. So if I look at the, what I have set up here is a database that is non-partition and a database that's partitioned. Now let me show you the database that is non-partitioned first. So what I'm querying here is for the partitions. And you notice there is only one partition here. And these are actually corresponding to the indexes. So each one of these indexes is maintaining 40 million rows. And if I query for the indexes, once again, each one of these indexes here by name has 40 million rows. Now if I query the same exact data because I set up a database that is exactly the same, one that's partitioned and one that isn't, I'm going to go to the partitioned one and show you the differences. So this is the same query except for the partitioned database for that table. So for my sales order header table, you'll see now there are 17 partitions and the row, the number of rows is different for each. Uh, for this one, which is probably the partition for my year 2005, only has 38,000 records, whereas this one has 1.6 million for 2006. 2007, it has 3.7 million, all the way up here to 2015, which has uh, 3.4 million. So once again, if you go look at my partition function, I I actually have future partitions uh, for the year 2016 to 2017, um, which obviously is empty because I don't have any data for that. Uh, but nonetheless, the partitions are there. Now, what exactly is is this referring to? Well, it's actually referring to the indexes. So. Prior, th this is the index that I created that is uh, the term partition aligned. And, and you'll notice this is the index that is split up between different partitions with its own set of uh, number of rows. Um, and the way I did that was I declared an index as I normally would, but I specified the partition scheme along with the partition the column that would be partitioned along those lines. So this is what you see here. This is the uh, index name. 
and this is the index name and I partitioned it based on this partition scheme and if you look at my other indexes which I did not partition using that partition scheme they actually run across all of the partitions and have the 40 million rows maintained within each index so that is really uh, sort of what table partitioning is and um, you know if you look at all my other videos on table partitioning um, I go a little bit more in depth uh, into uh, different areas of table partitioning but um, I hope this helps and uh, thank you for watching